Hello everybody, Jonathan Rayo here with Simplified Guitar, and in this lesson I want to teach you how to play the song There Will Be Peace in the Valley for Me. As usual, I'll play through the song first, and then afterwards I'll break it down for you and explain it in more detail, so be sure to stick around for that. For now, let's go ahead and play through the song. Well, I'm tired and so weary, but I must go along till the Lord comes and calls me calls me away well the morning so bright and the lamb is the light and the night the night is as black as the sea So we'll be playing in the G chord family and we're going to be using a lot of different variations of chords within that family. We're also going to be using two different variations of a C. We're going to be using C add 9 for whenever we're going back and forth from G. So G to C add 9 back to G. That makes for a nice easy transition to a C. But then later on in the song we're going to be using a regular C, the traditional C major. And the reason again is for the chords around it. I usually will pick a chord variation that fits nicely with the chords around it. Of course you could get away with just playing the traditional C major for all of the areas where it calls for a C and that would be fine. We also have an A7 and I'm going to be playing it with my second and third finger. We have D major and D7. We have this very nice progression where we go from a G to a G7 over B and then to a C. And the way that progression is going to work, I'm going to play my G like this with my second, third, and fourth finger. And the reason I'm going to play it like this, again, is because of where I'm going next. The chord I'm going to be playing next is that G7 over B. So if I start here with this G, then to do my G7 over B, to create a G7, I need to press down right here and let go of my uh, fourth finger, which is on the third fret of the E string, and play first fret of the E string. And that's going to create that seventh note. It's going to add that seventh note into the G chord. But then I want to also add the slash chord, G over B. So to create the over B, I'm going to um, not play the E string and I'm going to start on the A string where my second finger is and that is my B note. Okay, So really for G7 over B I'm just going to have these two fingers down. And then from there we're going to transition to a regular C major. Now for the strum pattern we're going to be using the swing pattern which is a nice simple three beat strum pattern. We're going to have three down strums per measure and for the first beat of each measure, I want to pluck just the root note of the chord for that first beat of the measure, okay? So I'm just going to hold my G for an example. And for beat one, I'm going to play that root note, which in this case is my E string, because that's my G note. So I'm going to play one, two, three. And usually for beat two and three, I'll play lower down here in the register, maybe the, the bottom four strings or so, just to create that variation from low pitch to high pitch. One, two, three. 
And then after beat three, I'll do an up strum to restart. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now where this song can get a little complicated is in some of the progressions where we're going to switch chords in the middle of a measure. So the first time it happens is at the very end of the verse, the last line of the verse. We're on the G chord for and the night, and the night, the night is as black. And we go to A7, one, two, and on beat three, I'm gonna switch to a D just for that one, just for that one beat on that beat three. And then I'm gonna go back and play a G, okay? So again, instead of holding the A7, for a full measure, like we've been doing for all the other chords. We usually hold it for at least one measure, sometimes two. But in this case, our A7 is not going to last for a whole measure. It's just going to last for two beats. And then on that third beat, we're going to play a D, just for that one beat. And then when we start the next measure, we're going to be on G. So let me count out those beats while I'm playing it. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Again, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. And the night, the night is as black as the sea. And then it happens again right after we get to that G. We're going to do the same thing with a C and then back to a G. And that C is coming on beat three, the last beat of a measure, and it's only lasting for that one beat. And then we're back to G again. Okay, so we have one, two, three, and one. Okay, like that. One, two, three, and one. All right, hopefully this lesson was useful for you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Take care.